You know, I didn't used to be the man people know me today. There were trials and challenges along the way that some would consider taking risks. But taking those risks have made me stronger in this world, and I am here telling you that story today. The story starts off high above the clouds that no man could ever reach. You know, unless he was dead. Well, anyway, it starts off at Mount Olympus, where the gods are discussing the faith of one man, and that is me. What is the situation with Henry? He is currently headed off to help his friend Antonio, who is taken by the trickery of Anubis, the god of sand and time. Father, we must act quickly or Odysseus will fall into his trap and will be trapped in the sea of sand for all eternity. In due time, my daughter, we must first see what happens. If the gods interfere with his past, so we will accompany Odysseus. But Father, we can... We cannot interfere with any mortal affairs, or they will be too reliant on us. Odysseus must learn all this on his own. I understand, Father. I will try my best to keep my emotions to myself in the meantime. Only the gods can interfere with affairs if other gods are involved. But it is up to the others to take in responsibility for themselves. So wait, how can I know what was going on in Olympus when I myself am immortal? Some things are better left unsaid. Anyway, the next part of our story starts off in a small village found in the middle of a desert. I, Henry Odysseus, settles with my wife and family. Though it was peaceful, it was also one with very little experience. But one day, there was a massive sandstorm and it caused a turn of events that turned my life around. So how was the hunt today? It is pretty cool in the desert. Very little to provide for this little village as a whole. Luckily, we are only a few. <sighs> I don't mind this lifestyle we have right now. It's just that it's getting a little, well, stale. It's not all that bad. We are still alive, aren't we? Besides, isn't it a sort of feat to be able to find the food, using different ways to capture your dinner every day? It still feels the same. It's a desert with very little to explore and do. I've killed so many with my cunning, it feels as if I mastered it, and now I grow bored of it. Everyone, retreat! Take shelter in your houses now! Is everyone alright? Let's get to town! Such and such minutes later. Sir, we can't find Antonia anywhere. We found tracks, but they will disappear soon with the desert. Ah, uh, the loss of a good friend. Ah yes, my good friend Antonio. We have been friends since our childhood. I felt a deep connection between me and him. I had to do this alone. The gods feel like they are guiding me to this task. I made another bow different from the one I normally hunt with. It's been in my family for generations, and I can't take it with me on this trip to an unknown area. I left my wife with a large supply of food until I got back. I also took a large supply of arrows with me in order to mark my path back, each one visible to with each other, all of them large in length and sticking out from the sand close enough to be visible to one another. I finally found a small fort where Antonio is being held. I had to use my wit to get past the guard. Luckily, a sandstorm brewed once again. I was able to sneak past them while they were distracted, and I was able to rescue my friend Antonio. But all was a trick of Anubis, for he was the cause of the sandstorms, and it also sinked my arrows to the ground. Now we were blindly traveling through the desert, until... I see a large household. It's unlike anything I've seen before. Eh, it must be a mirage or something. Mirages only apply to water. Well, let's go check it out then. Hi, I'm Henry Odysseus, and this is Antonio. Oh, you two should come in right now. Wait a sec, I see what's going on here. I'm not falling for that again. Whenever there's a fox involved, something is bound to happen. Come on, Antonio. 
If you don't seek shelter now, you will surely die. There's a massive sandstorm that comes in every hundred years. You surely won't survive. Now, let me introduce myself. I am Dennis Calypso. I'm actually a demigod. I have watched your travels and poor souls wander the desert. Don't worry, you are safe now. I can easily provide food and water for you both. Um, that's all nice, but I have to ask, when is the sandstorm going to stop? It takes about two years. Two years? J no, just no. No. I promised myself I wouldn't scream. I knew my wife would have to find someone else to provide for her in that time frame. Even if we were able to return, I did as it sounded. I stayed for the whole two years, as Denise, who provided us with food and water, the sandstorm finally stopped, and Calypso tried her very best to make us stay. But the goal to reach my wife made it so I never stopped. I somehow managed to get Antonia out there. It wasn't easy, but still managed. We traveled the desert again, and we approached what appeared to be a sort of fort city as if they were built by the gods themselves. Now that has to be a mirage. It's not a mirage. Hey look, finally, some water! Um, that's a mirage. Welcome to our kingdom. I am the daughter of our great king, Nigel Icarus. We were told that two travelers would come. Should we trust her? It's another fox. Well, let's put it this way. This is quite obviously a much more organized kingdom waiting for our welcome. Not only that, we would probably die of thirst if we wait here much longer. Welcome to our great kingdom. We have it all here. Excitement, adventure, thrill, and enjoyment. Our city was blessed by the gods themselves. That's nice and everything, but my only concern is getting back home. So, you really are this determined to return to your wife? Yes, nothing in the world can hold me back. You have deep connections with both your friend and your wife. You have passed this test. This was to see if you were willing to give up your life for more adventure. I have the means to send you back when you are ready. This city is a mere illusion set up by the gods, including me. And so it seems that all this was indeed a test. By using the gods' great wings, I was able to soar back to my beloved wife. When she told her story, it turns out she left her other husband for mistreatment, and was also able to grow a sign of independence as well. I was finally reunited with my wife, and I had adventures to share. But at the same cost, those adventures gave me much worry of what I truly loved. The adventures made me tough, but I could never let go of what I truly loved.